Jesse Mon. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Sunday Talk episode number 150. In today's episode, we're going to go over five questions I received from you guys on regarding our 130 process. I have another powerful and positive code for you guys and also we're gonna go over nvc update of this week for some of you guys who miss my tuesday update before i start today's video i want to wish you guys a happy sunday i hope your day is going well so guys on let's start with the powerful code that i have for you today this code is coming from frank zappa here is the quote a man is like parachute it doesn't work if it's not open again a mine is like parachutes it doesn't work if it's not open if you have a closed mind you won't go nowhere in this life i think it's a powerful quote so guys don't let me know in the description below what you think about this quote okay so we're gonna jump into the questions now so the first question today is coming from gilbert Opung. Here's the question. Hi, John. Oh, please, um, what is an appointment letter? Does the appointment come before police clearance or the does appointment letter contains both? Well, thanks for the question. Uh, appointment letter is just, just like it, it sounds. Appointment letter is the interview appointment letter. Basically, it's a document on which you will have the date, the place, and uh, where you will go for your interview. It's called the appointment letter, and also the instruction regarding what you do. Okay, that's the appointment letter. So now you talk about clearance, uh, police clearance certificate. Police clearance certificate document is part of the, the civil document you're gonna submit to NVC, which is part of the immigration uh, immigrant visa process. So you have to submit those document. Those document will be approved. You will be document to qualify before we will, uh, you will receive your interview appointment letter. So both the police clearance certificate and appointment letter. Uh, again, NVC doesn't send you a police clearance certificate. It's a document you receive from the country where you live regarding your. Uh, your criminal background and stuff like that, that and you submit that to NVC. So to answer your question, police clearance certificate is a document you have to submit uh, when you are submitting a document to your civil document to NVC and then the interview letter is appointment letter is a letter you receive after you are document to qualify. So let's move to the second question that I have for you today. Uh, this one is coming from Jonathan Sisson. Here's the question. Hi, I have a question. I stay in Italy for four years, single. And I'm already living in the Philippines and uh, I got married 2021. My question is, on which passport should I use in order to obtain a request uh, for PCC, which is Police Clearance Certificate on uh, Italy? The single or married passport, do you have any idea? Please uh, help me out. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for the question. Uh, since you say you have your old uh, passport, when you live in Italy and you know by that time you were single I think uh, that's the passport you're gonna use because uh, they only have uh, information uh, about that passport when you live in Italy so the new passport is something you get in Philippines so based on my knowledge uh, I think you will use the old passport to get a police clearance certificate from Italy okay let's move to the third question that I have from for you guys today this one is coming from Mohamed Konate. Hi, John. I submitted my I-864 form of 2020 task in 2021, but the embassy was closed on because of the COVID-19. I didn't receive uh, my interview date in 2021. I received the date in 2022. Did I need to submit a new I-864 form? I was trying to leave it uh, like that, but bring my 2021 task on. Uh, 1099 form. Well, thanks for the question. Yes, uh, you don't have to resubmit uh, your affidavit or support form. The only thing is, uh, most of the time, the embassy will ask you to bring the new um, uh, income uh, um, document, basically, okay, you know, the financial supporting document to bring it to the to the uh, interview. If they don't ask you, but even if they don't ask you, still take it with you in case uh, they will need it. You just have to provide it instead of you know leaving. 
you know, and then submit a letter. That will delay the 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 whole process, the on the decision, on the visa decision, basically. So to answer your question, yes, um, you, you basically you don't have to fill out another affidavit or support form, but take the new uh, of uh, task uh, document uh, to the interview. Okay. So let's move to question number four. This one is coming from Abiodon Olaler. Here is the question. Hello, Mr. John. Uh, what I'm going to do to attend uh, my guardian on uh, 70s, 70 years birthday in America? I'm from Nigeria. Well, thanks for the question. If you want to attend your guardian on uh, 70 years on birthday, well, if your guardian send you an invitation letter, you can use that to, you know, get a uh, visitor visa to come and visit him in the United States of America and then go back to your country after uh, the birthday is uh, over, the birthday celebration is over. So yes, if you can get uh, 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 an invitation letter, I think you can use that uh, to you know, get a uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean visitor visa to come and visit your guardian, okay? Okay guys, and let's move to the last question that I received from uh, you guys. Uh, this one is coming from El Haji Ali Ban. Here is the question. Hi, would like to know the next step after my spouse did her fingerprint for the I-751 petition to remove conditions on residence. Well, thanks for the question. Normally, after the fingerprint, uh, if um, USCIS want to interview you guys, well, they will, uh, I mean, interview appointment will be uh, the next step. And after that, a decision, uh, the 10 years on green card decision, okay? But if there is no interview, after the fingerprint, uh, they will uh, send you uh, the green card, you know, after they approve the 10 years on uh, uh, green card, uh, you know, anyway. So once they approve it, they will uh, send it to you. But normally, after that, you go to the interview and then uh, you get your green card, okay? So guys, uh, that's what I have for you as far as some uh, questions uh, we want to talk about today. And then now, you know, this week, uh, NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on May 3rd. They're working on those uh, cases. And uh, some of you guys uh, will uh, receive uh, a welcome letter maybe two weeks from now um, or three weeks from now, depending on, you know, depending on which visa category you're in. Then after that, you just have to follow the steps uh, in the welcome letter to submit documents and then to pay fees, okay? And also, on the announce on the website this week that they are reviewing documents they receive from you guys on March 1st, okay? March 1st, so they will let you know if you are document to qualify or if there is a document missing. And then the third update, always regarding emails. Some of you guys on who send the inquiries to uh, NVC asking different questions, they are replying to those uh, emails. Um, uh, they say the one they receive on, on March 21st are the one they are responding to this week. So make sure you check your you check your email boss so you don't miss any email coming from NVC National Visa Sender. Again, some of you guys want to have a relationship with someone here in the United States of America, whether, whether it's a business or friendship or just long-term relationship, well, send me an email uh, connection at usmont.com. Then I will schedule a, uh, a Zoom meeting with you, record everything and publish it here with uh, your information. Okay? You never know who's going to contact you. So far, we have three people who send an uh, email. So I want to wait till we receive at least 10 emails before I start on recording on, on those videos before I start interviewing on those people, okay? If you like the video, well, uh, hit the like button. If you want to be notified every time I have a new video, click on the bell. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button. Once again, uh, my name is John. Whatever you do today, do it peacefully. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in another video. USA Monday.